Welcome to another edition of the Sports Web. I'm Peter Blake along with Sean the Sports Don live from Raymond James Stadium. Thank you very much for checking in. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers continue their winning ways over the New Orleans Saints 16 to 11. We'll give you three reasons why this happened on Sunday. My number one reason would be the defense. In fact, anytime you can hold the Saints to 11 points, Drew Brees didn't even have a touchdown in this game. You cost three turnovers. And for the second week in a row, Keith Tandy, the backup, has a game-ending interception. You're in good shape. What yeah. was yours? All right, I'll say defense. I'm going to double down on that. I mean, for the last five weeks, this defense is playing at a level, uh, making them number one in the league right now. So when you have a defense performing at this type of level, three weeks in a row, the defense is the one that ends the game. So when you see that continually happen, this is a trend. This team is for real on the defensive side of the ball. That's why we won this game. That's why you should be excited if you're a Buck fan. And I think another reason why the Buccaneers won this game, it's the commitment to balance. Now, even though it was ugly, 23 carries for 66 yards for Doug Martin in early touchdown they stayed committed to that run it makes some balance and then with that being said your defense only holds the Saints to 46 yards of offense you make that Saint offense one-dimensional once again you have a chance to win hey I'm gonna go ahead and look at our Brian Anger you know a lot of times people won't look at that and, and say that he's the key to the game I know it's not fantasy points but this young man he did a great job today in the fourth quarter he had two big punts that he nailed on the one yard line making it very difficult for Drew Brees and his team to move down the field especially when you're going up against the way this defense is playing right now hats off to Brian Angle without him you probably don't win this game absolutely great point and the, the punt coverage in itself was great and my third point would be to piggyback off of you with special teams how about Roberto Aguayo mm -hmm. you know it was a controversial pick to start the year second round pick he's missed some easy field goals but tonight he was money three for three no missed kicks, and those points were crucial in this ugly win versus the Saints. And my last one would be mentally tough. You know, I talked about that early in the year. This Buck team, they, play, they stayed mentally tough. You had a grinded out game. You like to see a Buck team win a game like this. It's familiar. It smells familiar like it used to be back in 2002 with the great Warren Sab days. This team was able to do that. It's not going to always be pretty, but they showed that they can stay the course. And I know Dirk Cutter and the coaching staff got to be happy about that. And I think Dirk Cutter said it best. It's also about this defense is back and it's like Jameis Winston said in the press conference even though it's an ugly win a win is a win and that's why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers stay atop the NFC South at 8 and 5 by beating the New Orleans Saints 16 to 11 to match their franchise streak of five in a row you know the last time they did that Sean I know you're gonna say 2002 what happened then they won the Super Bowl. Are you calling for a Super Bowl right now? Hey, look, anything is possible. If this team can get in the playoffs, they got on a roll already in the three phases of their game, offense, defense, and special teams, anything is possible. It's just like I said at the beginning of the year, I thought this team was a 10-win team and could make the playoffs. They're only two wins away. I just say slow your roll. Let's get to 9 and 5 first. Then we'll start talking about 10 and 5. That's what you say. For another edition of the Sports Web, I'm Peter Blake along with John the Sports Guy. And we are giving you something to think about. See you on Saturday from 3 to 5. That's right. The only FM sports talk show in the Tampa Bay area, the Sports Web, from 3 to 5. Bring your passion, bring your excitement. Just don't bring any nonsense. Mm -hmm.